Hello everyone, this is my first review of 2020, and the reason that I kind of waited a little bit to do this review is because I did not want to start my first video of the new year doing a book that book review that was kind of negative. This was kind of a miss, and I didn't want to start out that way, but I felt like if I didn't review it, it's just sitting there in limbo, so I just decided to review it. Um, so here goes. This is the book entitled The Borgia Bride by Janine Calagridis. And this is a historical fiction novel. And this tells the story of Sancha of Aragon, who is an illeg illegitimate da daughter of the King of Naples. And she just like a lot of women in this time period, is kind of a pawn in different marriages, and she marries Rodrigo Borgia, who's Pope Alexander the Sixth, um, youngest son Joffrey, and it just tells about her involvement with the Borgias and her, you know, relationship with Joffrey and his family. The relationship with Joffrey. It is a, it is not a love match. They do not like each other, really. Um, he is a lot younger than her, therefore a lot inexperienced of just the world in general. I think he was 11 when they got married, and she is like 18. So that's a big, big age gap. Um, and just about his, the relationship with his family, um, this is true. She did have a relationship with Cesare Borgia and also a relationship with um, with Lucrezia Borgia. And first, I'm going to start off on a positive note. I really enjoyed kind of the, you know, the, I guess, the semi kind of relationship, this weird kind of friendship with Lucrezia and um, Sancha. And I think in this book, and compared to other books that are in other series that I've seen, um, Lucrezia is put in a more sympathetic life because a lot of people say that she was a poisoner and in my opinion I think that was just a smear campaign people did not like the Borgias they said that Rodrigo had incestuous relationships and I don't I don't believe that I just think that was all smear campaign I don't think he was a good guy um, he is his family is what the uh, the book The Godfather and the movie The Godfather is based on, so he was not a good guy. But in this book, I really, really like the friendship between, you know, between Sancha and, and, um, Lucrezia. And I also like, even though it's, it, you could tell they kind of don't like each other, they don't despise each other. I really like the relationship between Joffrey and and um, Sancha as well. The you know that was really really good. Um, now the problems that I have with this book is it seemed kind of even though she at the end she did say like some facts about the Borgias and what happened. This seemed kind of semi-real but a little bit fan fiction-y which I did not like and you're taking this minor character in history that really didn't live very long again and trying to tell a story around her I would have liked maybe to see Lucrezia's point of view the first person point of view of Lucrezia and not Sancha I think that would have been a lot better and I believe it puts Sancha in places that she probably couldn't have been. I'm not going to give too much away if you decide to read this book, but 
it puts Sancha in places where she might not have been just to for her to be kind of entwined with the Borgias which again that's why I think Lucrezia would have been a lot better as the main character the first person narration character than um, than Sancha and that you know that that was really difficult and also again I've said this about a few books in the past this book is way too long it is 509 pages and I read this on in print I did not read it in audible this was a print book that I got from half price books and it didn't need to be this long there are times that it really dragged on and it was really hard for me to get into it wasn't one that really just grabbed me there it wasn't like one that I've that I could put down. I mean, I've read long books before and I got through them relatively quickly, but this one, I just, it, there was a lot that wasn't bringing me back. I, I did want to read it. I'm the kind of person I like to finish things no matter what they are. If I stick to something, I'm going to finish it. But this one really took me a long time to read. I started it maybe a month ago, maybe a little bit longer than a month, and it took me a long time to finish it, and I thought it was really long, and to be honest, I'm probably not going to read any more of her stuff. Her stuff didn't really grab me like other people's um, books. Um, so that's all I want to say about this book. And just to tell you what's coming up, I'm reading another Royal Diary series another royal diary book and this one is about Catherine the Great and it talks about her young life so I'm really excited about that and that was a good book from what I remember and now that I know a lot about Catherine I'm able to get into it a lot more and I'm also reading the new Philip Gregory book um, it came out I think in August so a few months ago it is called Thailands and I will be reviewing that and those two books will not be fails. So that is all I want to say about this book review. I'm sorry that if I stumbled a little bit, I just, I didn't want to get the names wrong. There was a lot of names in this, <laughs> this really confusing names. So, and I also didn't want to give too much away. So that is all I want to say about this book and what's coming up next. And I hope you're having a good new year so far. I, it's pretty good for me. I'm just doing schoolwork and it's hard to get into the swing of things, into the school spirit, so I'm trying to do that. So I will see you all in the next video, and I am not sure when that will be, probably relatively soon. Bye, guys.